Are you ready to find peace in your heart? Of course you do. I'm Coach Easy, and welcome to the Cause It's Easy Show. As an empowered empath, empowering mindsets, and confidence through adversity, I will help you connect and conquer. Listen in as we talk real about serious concerns in the world and learn how by working together we can make life amazing. You are the ultimate number one in your life, and that's why you can be whoever you want and do whatever you want without worrying what anyone else thinks. Why? Because it's easy with me, Coach Easy. I believe there is a path to an easier way and having God in your life is the key. On this show, laughter is a promise and music is the spiritual language. Because it's easy, starts now. Hello, everybody, Coach Easy. And you are listening to Because It's Easy show on Transformation Radio. Stay with us because we're going to have a fun show. Probably a lot of things you guys had on your mind. And uh, we're going to see if we can't try to help empower you more. Maybe find out what's going on. But how many people can say they're single or can say they've been divorced? Because that seems to be, I was reading an article. It sounds like that's a lot of people. A record high, they said singles people. So that would be my question. Why do you guys think that is? Why do you think there's a record amount of singles today? And if you've been divorced, what do you think the cause was? I'm sure there's going to be a ton of people with those answers. Everybody's got an answer for that. So divorce rate has actually gotten better. It was past 50%. So my question would be, What's going on? What is going on? Why do we have such an issue going on? I only know a few things. Maybe I've done a little bit of research on this as I'm single myself. Um, They say 128 million people in America are single. Almost half. That's That's kind of an alarming number compared to when we were young or when I was young. Um. But at least the divorce rate's gotten better. That's because less people are getting married. That's gone down too, or gone up. So less people getting married, more single people, you're going to have less divorces. So here's a little stat for you. So in 2020, I can't tell you which month for sure, but 2020, I don't know if it could have been related to COVID. It could maybe not, but it says nearly four. So a little less than four out of 10 adults between 25 and 54 were either married or living with a partner, which is obviously less than half that weren't together. Or more, yeah, less than half the people were married or with a partner. So more people were single. It's kind of, kind of scary. And some other tidbit here. They say 84 million households in America. So from 1960, there was 6.9 people that were single. That number has gone up to 37.89 in 2020. Pretty cool. And here's the other one. Here's what, so U.S. cities, this is the largest percentage of one-person households. That's really great. Average is about 27 to 28%. But the top 10 cities are in the upper 40s or mid 40s. Top city of single households is St. Louis. Kind of interesting. New Orleans is second. Washington third. I could go on. But that's alarming because you got an average of 27 to 28. But then these 10 cities, I'll just go down real quick. Cleveland, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, Detroit. Cincinnati, Minneapolis, Baltimore, and St. Pete. But they're all 47% on down to 39%. Kind of crazy. Have you guys felt like you were either missing it if you are single or miss maybe what your life used to be married? It could possibly 
I'll be honest, I have I have some days. I had a great marriage, my first one, and then just kind of got for other reasons, you know, kind of went bad at the end, but I don't regret it. She was she was great. Great kids. Being single though. I've been pretty much single consistently for a few years, but overall I've been divorced seven years. I think people are a lot more picky their second time around too. Just my opinion. That's not what the necessarily stats say. But uh, I'd be interested if you guys ever want to respond to the podcast. I go back and look at stuff. You know, I go back and look at questions. But um, here's what they've been saying. So, you say for men, dating opportunities are getting harder and harder. Like, <laughs> here's the funny part. They say men need to address their skills of their kind of their deficits for you know relationships what's their maybe they're not taking better enough care of themselves some men some 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 don't care god god bless you man um i think today's standards in society you've you're forced if you want a chance to still try to look good as older you get but i read an article and i can't remember what magazine was in but it was talking about Young adults, yeah, young know. adults, young adults are not dating. And you maybe you can imagine what I'm going to say. They're kind of in this best word for it is hookup stage. I don't know if that's true, but that's what this magazine was saying. But it, I got to beg to differ because I was thinking older people like Gen X. Maybe we're more people that weren't dating, but these are just my opinions. But that's what the magazine said was the younger adults, they're just not dating. They don't want to date. Old standards aren't around anymore, man. We used to always, that was the thing to do, get married, have babies. Society's changed a lot. So if you're a Gen X, you can probably relate, but I have my ideas of what's going on, but for whatever reason, Less people are getting married, which is helping less people get divorced. But record highs, like like crazy. I wrote that stat down. So, so it's risen from, shoot, what they say? Oh, it's went from 19% to 35%. That's alarming. So since 1960, the number of couples, of married couples, 1960 was 40 million, and it's only 61 million in 2022. I know there's a bunch of stats. Sometimes it's like, who cares what's going on? <laughs> but just curious what you think about that. And um, are you one of the stats? But I guess we're all probably stats, right? Um why wouldn't we be? Um, we're either single or we're married or we're divorced or we're... So they count, kind of count married people and living together in the same kind of category, kind of, but just in some of the things. And that's the, these stats came out of, most of these came out of Time Magazine. Um, I don't know what you think of Time Magazine, but um, here's another. So I got questions for you. Do you think you should get married? Do you think everybody should get married at least once? Do you think that's not as important as it used to be maybe in the back of the day? And is that causing us to increase population less and less? That stat I need to find out. But are we having less babies? I Last I knew, we were only averaging like around two babies a household as far as Americans go. Maybe that's not, and I know that's not the case because it used to be, shoot, but my parents, upwards of anywhere from four to nine kids, it seemed like. Nowadays, we're not even close to that, I don't think. What they say here, so... This is another 
part of this because the highest amount of custodial parents getting child support right now, that just shows you there's more single people, just single people with kids. So somebody's getting some support somewhere, somehow. But that's at like 55 million. Cray, cray. So a night, yep. So there was a 30% increase since 1990. But there's only one person living in the household. That means people are divorced or separated or just not, just didn't get married. I didn't get married until I was almost 30. Or I actually didn't get married until I was 32, but didn't meet my wife till I was 30. But <clears throat> people used to get married when I was younger. My sisters were all married in their early 20s. Literally, like one of them was married at 20, I think it was 20 years old. That seems crazy to me. I don't know if it does to you, but it seems crazy. I'd be I'd love to have your, your input on what you guys think is the problem. So we're going to cut to a break here, but I want you guys to think what you think is the leading cause or the biggest cause of there being record numbers of singles. And if you think that's a problem or if it's okay, it'll be, uh, be fun just to find out what's going on. So think about that question and we'll be right back here. Give us a couple minutes and we'll see you real soon. This is Cause It's Easy or Coach Easy on the Cause It's Easy show on Transformation Talk Radio. I had some questions yourself, but some of you are Googling right now, if you're if you are. Um, cause it's kind of interesting to me. I know it took me quite a while to read that article. It's funny how you read it all. And, uh, you got all these thoughts and sad stats in your head and you're just like, what's the, what's the meaning of it? Why are we, why is it, why is it happening? So I've looked at all these living lists and stuff that women and men, what they look for in a person. And uh, I'll be I'll be honest with you, I'll toot my own horn. I'm very conscientious about dating or being in a relationship, um, and I think some some people aren't like they're. I always joke, but I say that the sexiest thing is is effort. When somebody has effort, because when someone shows you effort, it makes you want to show them effort. And I think people lack effort. I think we've got some people that are kind of lazy when it gets to relationships. They don't want to put the effort in. But on the other hand, people also expect to be chased. And I'm just too old for that. I don't know about my generation, younger generations. But shit, if the, excuse me, if the younger generations are they're just hooking up and they're not worrying about marriage, more power to them, I guess. But uh You'll get sick of that after a while, I bet. I have some I would, um, input if you want to hear some. Yeah. So I'm I'm 30. So I think. Okay, you're younger than. For me, you would consider me a millennial, I guess. Yeah. No, maybe are you, you're not. You're a young millennial then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was born in '92, and I don't date. I'm not dating anyone right now. Um, and the idea of getting married is just so much of a struggle for me because. I think, do I really want to commit to another another life, another person in my life when, when I can barely handle my own, especially with the state that the world is in right now? That's exactly, I think, part of it. It really is. Because yeah. I've changed. My whole my whole personality's changed in three years. Yeah, exactly. I mean, COVID and I feel like I'm not in the same things as I used to be. It's weird. Right, right. We can get into that later, but that's all part of this whole new awakening thing that I've learned about too. Of course. That we're in a different reality and everything else. Yeah. I don't know if you know anything about that, but that's another big thing that's I've kind that's of been a, trying to learn about. A, a time for another another episode, pretty much. Right, exactly. Because you could go on. I know we got other people that are more professional at this at, at that subject than me, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it is, it's the fact. It's are you thinking people are just hooking up or what? Yeah, Going to the clubs and stuff like that? I think when it comes down to it, um, 
I think when it comes to hooking up and sex in general, it's it's a very uh, primal thing that humans really need to get out of um, out of their systems because Absolutely. it's a natural part of who they are. It's a natural part of human beings in general. Um, and then society has um, connected the idea of sex and the idea of commitment and marriage together so that people now have to equate one with the, one with the other. Right. And people feel as if, especially when it comes to religion, I'm not saying anything bad about religion at all. Everyone can have their own. I think that's been a big part of it because that's missing. Exactly. People used to get married because of, of church, you know, because of God. Exactly. So everyone has their idea, their own idea of sex. And with the state of the world today, everyone has become a little bit more open-minded. So people aren't really trying to get married in order to have sex. People just need to have that outlet in general without feeling ashamed or feeling like they have to, they have to be in a relationship or be married in order to get that. And that's the true thing. Cause that's why I was, I, I joke around with some of my older girls that are friends, you know, I'm like, you don't have to worry about getting pregnant. You don't have to worry about being called a slut. Right. You know what I mean? Like, like why wouldn't women do it more? But, but younger women still maybe have to worry about some of that a little bit. Um, because I mean, it, it wasn't that easy. Like people weren't just hooking up, I guess maybe a little bit like people wanted, women wanted to get married for sure. Right. Um, that was the thing. Every woman wanted to get married pretty much when I was my, age. you know, when I was in your age group and younger and people got married younger too. Like, it seems like people are getting married later and later and later in life. Um, all three of my sisters, one got married a little bit later than the other one, you know? And then here I was 30, my sister, my other sister was almost 32. Um, but I don't know, but I do believe church. I mean, I'm not church so much because I'm not so much a church person, but I believe faith and God and, and our spirituality has a lot to do with it. And it's, it's kind of not, it's, it's not as, it's not there as much. You know what I mean? People wanted to get that girl with that white dress and nice church. And it is what it is. <laughs> exactly. But I can tell you what, I got some answers to your, to what they're saying. This one's not me. This is what people, I suppose, are saying. But it basically says that um, there's many reasons, but number one probably is what they're saying is the rise of women economically and educationally that they don't really need a man. Right. <laughs> no, I mean, and that makes some sense to me because I think they that was the other thing that read in there is, is single men, especially older ones, are, are there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of loneliness, like. We got to pick up our game, basically, is what they're saying, um, because women are much more picky, um, which right good for them. I'm kind of picky myself, but I'm not anal about it. But, you know, I mean, you still have to have a connection. But you, back to your sex thing, I just made this comment. I wrote, I sometimes I write, or you know, what you want to call blogs or whatever on my Facebook page sometimes just to trigger some people's input, you know. And um, I made the, the comment that I said, Love and intimacy, if you have a lack of it, it can, and I did read this part, but it can have psychological problems. I mean, you can have psychological damage from it. I mean, it can mess with you if you don't have any type of affection. Right, right, right. Um, there was a, and, and, so that's why you said sex is, that's kind of important. People need that, you know? Yeah, exactly. Or I affection, mean, um, one of the two. I, I, somewhere along in my life, I've heard uh, a, a couple of people talking, deciding if they had to give up one sense, one of their five senses, what would they be most willing to give up? And what a lot of people don't understand is that when it comes to touch in general, touch, yep. yes, exactly. Um, people who don't have that kind of intimacy, people who don't have that emotional connection with other humans or aren't able to feel it, won't be able to have that uh, in a psychological intimacy at all. They won't be able to know how to connect with people because they don't know how to feel. And that's not, a, yeah, you're right too, because it's not just the physical, it's emotional too, because you want, right. I, I joke and I mean this though, but I mean like, I want to love somebody, I want somebody to love me. You see what I'm saying? Right. That, that Having somebody that loves you like that or you having someone you can love like that is, that's huge. Mm -hmm. And do you know the love languages? Oh, a couple of them. <laughs> Mine is well, definitely touch. Mine is definitely touch. My, well, mine's touch and 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 and, and, and like compliments. Right. I think they call that terms of. And, what the hell it is? Yeah, yeah, and like words. Something. There's <laughs> gifts. Some people give gifts, and right. some people just, you know, do take them to do something fun or whatever. You know, 
I used to call it terms of endearment, but it's not terms of endearment. It's terms yeah. of the, the hell is it called? But I'm definitely touching and, and compliments, but right. that's interesting. Hey, you're wise beyond your years. Cause I don't know if I was at that, really that knowledgeable or really thought about it that much at 30, but that's right. When I got married, I was kind of giving up. I ain't kidding you. <laughs> and that was, this goes back to the being single thing. So here for me, I refuse to cheat. Hmm. So I could tell within a few weeks or even just a couple of weeks, if this was somebody I want to keep going with. Right. Because a lot of men will stay with a woman and just kind of use them until the next one comes. And I think that's so shitty right. um, because they, they, they think they got to have somebody at all times and women do it too. Sometimes, you know, ones maybe that aren't real competent in their careers or whatever they, I think they both feel like they got, there's some people that have to have somebody hmm. and they're having it for the wrong reasons. And then that leads to cheating, abuse, everything else. Because when I met my wife, I was at the, my ex-wife. I felt like I was doomed. I'm never going to meet somebody. Because I didn't think I could be with one woman. I know that sounds terrible, but I didn't think I could be with one woman. But I refused to cheat. So it was easier if I got out soon instead of somebody getting hurt. Mm-hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. But when I met my ex, I knew almost instantly. I didn't care anymore what my friends were doing. I didn't care what anybody else was doing. I had my... My marriage, my wife and my my kids, because she had two kids, so I had my ready-made family. Right. And then we had one of our own. But um, I say that to people nowadays because I believe it. Once you, you'll know, once you know you don't want to cheat, you wouldn't hit her, you wouldn't do any of that stuff, then you're with the right person. But if you feel like you have to cheat, you're not with the right person, so let them go. Mm, definitely. That's selfish if you don't. I'm such a sweetheart, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just milking it, ladies, I promise. <laughs> but that's how I've always been. I don't want to cheat because I would feel horrible doing it. Right. So it was easier just to stay single. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's how I'm, I'm feeling. But now, man, man, shit, wait till you get older. I mean. Oh, you start to get lonely. <laughs> it's a, it's straight lonely. It's, but here's my, my, whole, my whole thought process has changed too. Right. Sex used to be one of the most important. Used to be the most. It's still important, but it's it's dropped. Mine's more of a companionship and then having somebody like that partner in crime, as they call it, someone that, you know, has got your back and you got their back. Right. It's that. It is. It's that connection. Um, best friend thing. But yeah, sex is still important. I don't know how much longer we can do it. The older we can. So, you know. Exactly. I just, oh, I don't want to. I was having fun. <laughs> um, well, I hope everybody had a good time. Um, and I hope everybody had some questions to ask you there. You can always find me on because it's easy dot com. www.cuzits or and C or E A Z Y. Because it's easy. Uh, go get married. Have some babies. We need more population. You have been listening to the Cause It's Easy Show with me, Coach Easy. Empowered Empath, empowering mindsets, and building confidence through adversities. Tune in every Tuesday at 3.30 Pacific, 5.30 Central Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com, where I, Coach Easy, will show you the easy way to make your life simple, abundant, and amazing. No matter what you have experienced in your life, you can feel positive, confident, learn to laugh, and have fun again. For more information on the Cuz It's Easy approach, visit CuzIt'sEasy.com. Cuz, C-U-Z, it's easy, E-A-Z-Y, dot com. <laughs>